Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76 and today we're going to look at mutations. As you can see here in stats under effects, I have quite a few mutations already stacked. My favorite bin marsupial um, gives me the ability to jump very high and additional carry weight. Absolutely love that one. I'm going to show you a nice location to work on your mutations. First and foremost, you're going to need this card. It's called starched jeans. You find it under look and you're going to need to max that out. And with starched jeans, what that ensures is that when we pick up mutations, that we're not going to cure them accidentally by using a radaway. That's important because we will be using radaways quite a lot or stepping through those little radiation things that heal you of your radiation. Well, the problem is they get rid of mutations. And further down the line, we're going to grab that class freak perk. And what that does is the higher you max it up, the less negative effects you get from your mutations. Okay, so from White Springs, you want to come just west here to Blackwater Mine. All right. And once you're here, we're going to head inside like so. Now, there are some uh, mole miner thingies in here. They will scale to your level. You can choose to come in the front way like I'm doing now and take them all out. But in the process of getting mutations, we're going to have to do this several times. So if you don't feel like you have the resources to expend here, the next run that I do in here, I'll show you an alternate route to come in and avoid combat completely. So I'm just going to take them out as I go. And while I do so, I'll just continue what I was saying on mutations. When you get a mutation, there's a positive and a negative effect. It's, it's not, all, uh, not all rainbows and sunshine. But yeah, that class freak card I was talking about is something you can work on to get uh, built up. That will negate a lot of the negative effects, leaving you with a mostly positive experience from your actual mutations. So you're going to want that. But for now, that's not vital. So I think I have it cleared. Nope, we're still showing danger. So there's something else lurking about. That robot in there is friendly. So where is he? I'm just tapping my uh, vats there just to see if it's going to lock on to anything that I can't see. Oh, there he is. Double pop. All right. And we're shown as hidden now, which means the area is more or less clear. So what we're, wanna, what we're gonna wanna do is step into that pool of water there. Those barrels are highly radiated and just stepping into that pool of water is gonna expose us to a mass amount of radiation. Now going in with power armor, of course, is not the most effective way to do things because power armor will shield you from radiation. So let's uh, put that bad boy away. I'm also gonna wanna remove my starched jeans card because the whole point of that is well it's kind of like a double effect if you use a radaway while it's equipped it will not cure you of your mutation which is fantastic but it, <laughs> as it's a double-edged sword it also makes sure you can't pick up any new mutations you see how that works so i need it off if i want a, a new mutation and i need to put it on if i don't want to lose the mutations so here i am in the water now i'm picking up about 24 rads and you see my HP bar going down. I'm going to want to get out of the water regardless before the bar hits zero or, well, I die. That was a, that was a waste. So I have that little animation there now suggesting that a mutation is on its way. But unfortunately, this run, I didn't actually get anything. And that's okay. That's common. So I'm just going to run out. And I'm going to put back on my card because before I try again, I want to cure myself of the radiation that I have picked up. <clears throat> Very important. I can't just jump back in as is. And I don't want to waste any radaways or anything like that because just inside the door behind me, there is a one of those archways that rids you of radiation, which name I cannot remember. Oh, come on bunch of wrong buttons there so before I do anything of course I want to make sure that I equip my starch jeans card again because now I want to make sure that I do not cure myself of any of my existing mutations I am very particular when it comes to this card in fact here's the radiation arch before I do anything I always verify once again that I have starch jeans equipped and I do because I don't want to lose the mutations that I've already got. So you can just hit the button here, 
and the machine kind of starts up like that and you just run through the spray and you see your um your radiation level goes down 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 and we're zeroed out one of my mutations automatically restores my hp so now that i've lost the um the radiation you see my hp just shooting back up there so to try this again what i'm going to have to do is remove the starch genes card because again remember you cannot gain any mutations while you have the card on you can't lose them but you also can't gain them so i have removed it just double checking there to make sure i didn't pick one up and i didn't so we're going to go into the water again so what are we at there 13 it was at 13 rads come on that's zero rad. the game kind of gets glitchy like this sometimes like driving me there we go 24 25 that's good in around the 20s is good. I'm just searching around the water to see if I can get a higher radiation dose. But it seems 26 is the best I can do here. I used to get in the 30s before. Possible. There we go. You have mutated and become an empath. Fantastic. I got a mutation. Brilliant. So I got out of the water. Let's see. Empath, empath, empath. Plus 33 damage taken. Minus 25 team damage taken. So... I'll take 33% more damage when I'm on, my, I'm on my own, but overall team damage will be less, is what that seems to be. Now, I'm going to get on my starch genes card again, because you guessed it, I want to cure that radiation. So we're going to do that now. The thing about this is, though, is once you get one, there's, there's like a, a one or two hour window, I'm not sure what it is, before you can get another one on the server. So what we want to do after we've cured ourselves of radiation here is we want to quit back to the main, quit back to the, well, to me on the PlayStation 4, I just close the game out completely. I reopen it. I rejoin. If those mole men are back there, it means I'm on a new server, and that means I can get a new mutation. I don't have to wait the hour or two. It's not necessary. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to quit out, and we've come back in here possibly a new server and i'm going to approach this from a different side now this time i'm down by the train station i'm just having a look around here real quick getting my bearings i can see on the compass to my left is the indicator for the mine so that's what the icon looks like and there it is i love that marsupial jump so i can come at it from this side instead of going in the main gate which i find is much easier if if I'm doing this multiple times, I intend to what we call server hop over and over and over and over. I don't want to expend ammunition constantly clearing those things out. So I'm going to work my way up here. There's the hole in the wall. I'm going to come around past that. I just kind of crouching there real quick just to make sure I wasn't spotted. If I was, we're going to have a bit of a firefight and I might have to expend some ammunition. Now I come up around here to the top and you can see that that roof there is where i go into the radiation shower that's what it is a radiation shower it's not a radiation shower what am i thinking there's the pool to the right there's the moment to the left i'm just going to watch them real quick and make sure they're not going to get in my way so one of them's kind of gone inside there but they don't come around here to the right hand side unless you give them reason to and that's not something i'm going to do so we're nearing yeah, we seem pretty good. We're going to have to take starch genes off again. You really, really, really have to uh, be mindful of what status you are with this card. So I've removed it so I can now gain mutations. Brilliant. Let's go back in the water. It helps that I'm suffering from radworms. It just means I'm going to take more rads. Although I seem to be maxing it 22 to 26 constantly. I'll sit here with this, I guess, adequate 22 see if we can't catch another one we definitely know we're in a different server because as i said the mole men have all respawned it is a case that we could have got on lucky with the respawns and they just respawned faster than usual there we go we've mutated and gained talents i'm just going to try and no i'm still in a radiation area plus three minus one that's works gotta get in here and make sure the mole men are not going to bother me Especially with my HP so low. This would not be the time. Still shown as hidden. Let's make sure I turn on the starched jeans card. Or that I equip it. Before I get into that radiation shower. Anti-radiation shower. 
God, what is it called? I need to figure that out. And we're going to cure ourselves of radiation. And then we kind of just do it all over again. You can keep going through this. You can get all the mutations. I think there's 18, possibly 16, but I think I heard 18. Um, but you can just keep going and get them all. The, the positives I find for the most part outweigh the negatives. But yeah, if you get that additional card and get it up to level 3, then you'll get the, the negative effects down quite a bit. So again, from this point, once you've cured yourself of radiation, you're going to server hop once again, right? So talents, what was talents here? Agility minus 1, plus 25% unarmed damage, and plus bleed damage. So I guess that's pretty useful if you're using your fists or anything like that. Um, not so good to me. Nonetheless, hopefully you found this useful. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. There's absolutely no harm whatsoever. You can subscribe and, you know, if you don't like my content, hit that unsubscribe button. But regardless of what you choose to do, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.